everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing Stray Kids 2023 Japan Seasons Greetings. They did a separate Seasons Greetings for Japan this year, as well as their normal Korean Seasons Greetings. And I don't know if this is something I will continue to buy in the future if they continue to release two different Seasons Greetings, but I thought the concept for this one was really, really pretty, and I really wanted to buy this version. I believe it was actually only available for purchase in Japan. I didn't even see this pop up on most of the usual sites where I buy Japanese albums from, but luckily I found someone who was doing a group order and was able to purchase it that way. Unfortunately, there were some shipping delays with this item, so I did not receive my copy until the very end of February, so this is a little bit late for a season's greetings, but I mostly buy these for the photo books, and I expected with it being a group order that there would be delays, so I'm not too fussed about it. It did also come with a pre-order bonus, and I'm not really too sure what this item is. Um, but the version that I got was Hyunjin, and it is such a beautiful picture. I'm sure you can tell right away why I really wanted to own this season's greetings, because this Hyunjin hairstyle was one of my favorites he ever had, and like every photo shoot they did for their Korean albums and photo books were all when he had his blonde hair. I don't think any of them had this hairstyle, so when I saw that this season's greetings had it, I knew I wanted to get a copy because I just think this hairstyle and color suited Hyunjin so, so well. Of course, Hyunjin is literally always gorgeous, but... I just really, really, really like the way they styled him for this photo shoot in particular. So I'm very, very excited to open this up and see what all it comes with. So this is what it looks like with the plastic wrap off. The cover is simple, but very gorgeous. Mine does have a little bit of corner damage at all four corners, unfortunately, but that's probably just a result of it going through so many different hands in the shipping process. It definitely could be a lot worse. Um, and I love the holographic detailing of the title, S318, and the pastel pink color, just so, so gorgeous overall. On the spine, it says Japan Seasons Greetings 2023 S318 JYP. And I love this style of packaging for a Seasons Greetings. It feels more like what you'd expect a photo book to come in. And I quite like this. On the back, again, it says S318, Stray Kids, Japan Seasons Greetings 2023, and then we have the eight members' names, Bing Chan, Lino, Changbin, Hyunjin, Han, Felix, Sungmin, and In. And then on this spine, it says Stray Kids. And then the top and bottom are these lovely pink salmon-y color. So, so, so pretty. And then it opens up. With, oh, thank goodness it has a magnetic closure. I always prefer box-style packaging when it has a magnetic closure like that. Oh. Let me zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole thing. I adore this packaging. Pastel pink and pastel blue are, like, my two favorite colors, so I am absolutely in love with what they did for this already. Um, and this is such an interesting way to open it, too. I don't think I've ever seen a photo book or Susan's Greetings package open up quite like that. It's very nice. It reminds me a lot more of album packaging. I don't have the specs handy, so I apologize if I forget what some of these items in here are called. Um, but it looks like we have most likely a postcard set. Ooh, this looks like it's a nice acrylic standee. Um, oh, you get a lot of stuff in here. I will be looking at everything in more detail later. We get a ticket of some kind. A, it looks like transparent photo card set. I'm assuming this is the diary. And then the calendar itself. So, a oh, is there something else? Oh, there is. cute okay so I'm guessing this is a poster and then the back of the box has everybody's signatures in it and that is so 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 cute 
Yeah, this is overall just a really nicely designed package. Like, the actual box design is so nice. I really, really enjoy this. So the first thing I want to take a look at is the poster, and then we'll zoom in to see the smaller items, and oh, this poster is so pretty. Again, I just, I love this concept. This honestly is the kind of concept that I was hoping for from the Maxident albums. And I believe these were unveiled around the same time. But yeah, just, I love the floral aesthetic. All of the pink in the color scheme, just so, so pretty. Some of the outfits I like better than others. I definitely think Hyunjin got the best outfit of the bunch, personally. But it just feels like something different than what they've been doing in a lot of their Korean photo shoots. So I really, really appreciate this. And on the back we've got the logo. Like, the contrast between this and their Korean season's greetings is they could not be more different. This is very elegant and pretty, while their Korean season's greetings was very colorful and fun and a little bit campy, I would say. It definitely was not a very serious photo shoot. Next, I want to take a look at the calendar itself, and it does come in resealable plastic, which I always appreciate. And the way this is set up reminds me of, I think it was their 2021 season's greetings, if I am not mistaken, where you've got two separate pieces that you change for every month. So this is what the front looks like. And then go ahead and turn it to January. And of course, January and February have both unfortunately passed now, so I won't be able to use these months of the calendar, which is quite sad because Chan is one of my biases and it looks like he was the model for January. But hopefully we'll get some unit pictures, so I will still get to see some Chan pictures this year. So it looks like when you have it displaying on this side, you have the months laid out here and a smaller picture. And on the opposite side, you have the larger picture and then the smaller month layout. Although, to be fair, with the way these are separated, you could very easily just leave it on Chan's picture for a different month. That is something to consider, since I didn't get to use the January or February months at all. I, I, might, I might have them on display for part of another month. Gorgeous pictures, though. Very, very gorgeous. And then for February, which we have also missed out on. I am literally recording this on the last day of February, so it will be March by the time I get to put this up. Um, we had Mino, so it looks like we're going in age order. And we do have birthdays marked on the calendar, but it's a little hard for me to tell what date that's supposed to be on from the way these are set up. Um, I think that's on the 8th. But I'm not super confident in that, and I don't remember what date Jongin's birthday is off the top of my head. But again, these pictures of Lino, so, so pretty. And on the other side... Oh yeah, here we can see. Yeah, I and birthday on the 8th. Okay. That makes it a little clearer. I, want, I think these kind of had a little bit of a Little Prince concept with the, like, alien planet and the flower. Which, for me makes me think of One Wee. I am a huge weave, and one of their signature songs is Regulus, inspired by The Little Prince. Fun fact, Hyunjin actually recommended that song on VLive once, so definitely check that song out if you have not heard it. Um, so it looks like we're not quite going in age order after all, because for March we have Sungmin, so I imagine they are split up into units, so we will probably get some unit photos later on. I kind of love Sugman's outfit, actually. It's a little bit ridiculous, but I think that's why I love it. The oversized ribbon, the oversized pearls, beautiful. And he is the cover model for March, as I said, and we have a lot of important dates in March, it looks like. Um, we've got their Japan debut anniversary marked for the 18th. Their Korean debut anniversary, of course, on March 25th, and then Hyunjin's birthday on the 20th. Lots to celebrate in Skizland in March. Yeah, 
God, these pictures are so pretty. I will say the color is reading a little more peachy on camera. It is a little pinker in person. And then for April, which is my birthday month, it looks like we get Jong in. I kind of miss his blonde hair, not gonna lie. It suited him very well. I see there are zero important skiz dates for April. I like that they have different color flowers too. He has a red one where some of the other members had paler pink flowers. Again, super pretty. And then I imagine for May we're going to get some unit pictures. Okay, yes, that is how we're doing it. So for May, we have pictures of that unit. Chan, Mino, Sungmin, and Jongin. That's kind of fun. It's the oldest two and the youngest two. And again, no important dates in Skizland for May. And another unit picture on the back. And then for June, it looks like we're starting off our other unit now. So we start off with Changbin. And I adore Changbin in softer photo shoots. I just think they suit him so well. I know he is very known for his dark, intense hip hop image, but I feel like his softer side is fairly underrated and deserves more appreciation, in my personal opinion. He looks so, so pretty, and I love the little star necklace they gave him, too. Yeah, he is so, so beautiful. So beautiful. And then I imagine we're going in age order within the units. So for July, I am predicting it will be Hyunjin. Ah, <gasps> yes. Oh, and what pretty pictures, too. Wow, there's really just like no important skiz dates for like several months in a row. But uh, again, I love this outfit. I love the soft pink blazer. It complements Hyunjin's dark hair so, so well. So, so, so gorgeous. Oh, this one, too. Is that? No, it's not the same as the pre-order winner that I got. But it is clearly from, obviously, the same photo shoot. This is all from the same photo shoot. But, oh, I love Hyunjin's necklace, too. With the multicolored beads. That is so, so pretty. How is someone just that gorgeous? And then for August, we have Han Jisung, which that outfit and the like sandy planet background behind him, he looks like he stepped out of a Star Wars movie. I love that for him. Um, in August, we finally have another important date. We have Changmin's birthday on the 11th. So, so cute. And so I'm guessing for the next month, we will have Felix. And yes, indeed. And funny enough, we actually managed to get someone matching up with their birthday month. Um, because there are three different Skiz birthdays in September. We've got Jisung's birthday on the 14th, Felix's on the 15th, and Sungmin's on the 22nd. And Felix just happens to be the model for that month. So Felix gets his birthday month. One out of eight. <laughs> Gosh, I, he had dark hair for so much of last year, but he's back to blonde again, and I'm already not used to seeing him with dark hair anymore. <laughs> so it's like a flashback. His hair's also gotten so much longer, too. Oh, but he is so, so pretty, as always. And then for October, we have pictures of that unit. 
We have two October birthdays, but neither of those people are models for this month. We have Chan's birthday on the 3rd, and Lino's on the 25th. Oh, but they are so, so cute. I love Hyunjin's boots, too. Oh, I really love this group picture. So gorgeous. And then... I wonder if we'll have full group pictures for the next two months. Oh, interesting. So, for this one, when you display it with the larger calendar part, it's like just an aesthetic picture. The members aren't even in it. So, this might be when I turn it to <laughs> Chan, since I didn't have him for his actual month. And then on the other side, we have a full group picture. I wonder if it will be the same way for December. Oh. I'm about to skip December. Okay, yes, it does look like it's the same for that. So, aesthetic picture. Um, Oh, I didn't realize Stay Japan has a separate anniversary from the regular Stay fan club. I mean, it makes sense because I think they did open the fan club at a different day, but I just didn't realize they celebrated that anniversary specifically. Today I learned. That is a really pretty picture, though, with the flowers. And then on the other side, we have this beautiful group photo. And that is it for the calendar. Very gorgeous. I am super excited to be able to display that. Next, let's take a quick look at the diary it comes with. Um, so it's in this protective plastic sleeve, it looks like. Oh, but the design is really pretty. Again, I love the illustration of the rose. It's a bit on the small side, but hopefully we'll get a few pictures in here. Oh, that's really pretty. So it starts with a line of text that says, this is the story of how we found what really matters. And I appreciate that they did translate that into English. Since this was intended for their Japanese fans, I wouldn't have blamed them if they left it just in Japanese. But I appreciate that they translated it as well. And then we have spreads for 2023 and 2024. And then some yearly planner pages. I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. With that is a really pretty aesthetic shot of the set. I love the color scheme of this. Um, to start off with January. And we have Chan's signature. So I imagine we'll get some pictures of him. Or maybe not. I guess we just have their signature for the month that their pictures are for in the calendar perhaps. So Chan for January, Lino for February, Sungmin for March, Jongin for April. These are pretty too, the different like space, planet, moon illustrations. Very pretty. Uh, Chongmin for June. I love his signature. It's my favorite in all of Stray Kids. Hyunjin for July. Hyun July! Chisung for August, Felix for September, and then all of Skiz for October. Oh, interesting, it says stay for November instead of Skiz. That's cute. And Stray Kids again for December. We've got another aesthetic shot. Again, I love all of these like pastel rainbow gradients. That's just so, so pretty to me. Is the world we wandered into and discovered. S318. Got January. Okay, so we do get some more pictures here. Oh, it's, it's a shame that it's so tiny. But, oh, what a pretty picture of Chan. Sorry, the pages were wanting to stick together. Kind of wish they had more pictures on these pages they were going to be small like that, but, ooh. 
I'm zooming in to show you because they are quite small on the page. Um, what does this one say? You have walked around and traveled a lot in this world. Very intriguing. Yeah, I really wish these pictures were bigger. That doesn't really feel like a very effective use of space. Like, the pictures themselves are so gorgeous, I just wish they were not so small. That star made us realize. The aesthetic pictures are so gorgeous, too. See, okay, so that one's is bigger. That's interesting. Oh, I see. Never mind. They just said his in a different order. With the bigger picture first. Um, about the important things we have forgotten. So I guess if you read all the text, it'll tell a story when it's put all together. We've got Jongin. That's a really pretty picture. Um, what was important to us was always by our side. And we've got a unit picture. I like I like how they did the colored background for that page. Got another tiny unit picture there. The bigger one. So you get three pictures of the units. That's nice. Um, it's a warm place where we can just be ourselves. Again, love the rainbow colors on this. So pretty. Here we got Changbin. So, so cute. It's such a wonderful existence that we can cry and laugh together. That's almost giving me like It's a Small World from Disney vibes. Oh, why is the Kenjin picture so tiny? That's criminal. We better also get a bigger Kenjin picture or I will be quite upset. Okay, we do. Every time they do them out of order like that, it throws me off. I think we're not going to get a big picture. That is so, so pretty. Wow. Um, meeting such an important person is itself a miracle. Jisung. I feel like the text is probably supposed to be about stay. I feel like that's the conclusion we're, we're coming to. Like, tell me he is not giving Star Wars vibes. He is totally a Jedi in training here. We finally remembered the important things we forgot. Felix. What was important to us was always by our side. I feel like I've already read that. I'm having deja vu. Again, love when they have the colored background behind the group picture. It is so, so pretty. And there's a closer look at that one. So gorgeous. They really put three of my biases in the Well, Jisung is like my fifth bias. He's not officially in bias line, but I, I basically bias everyone in this group to an extent, but my main four biases are Changbin, Hyunjin, Felix, and Chan. And I swear, whenever they split up into units like this, three of them are in one unit and one is in the other. It is almost never a 50-50 split, and I just think that is so funny. They look so beautiful together. Seriously, the vibes of this photo shoot are just so gorgeous. Um, oh, yep, I knew it. The genuinely most important thing, it's stay. Saw that coming. Very sweet, though. Very sweet. 
I got a group photo. Wow, they're really skimping on the group photos, huh? Um, the place where stray kids should be equals the place where stay is. Very, very sweet. And very on brand for stray kids. Another aesthetic shot. I hope we end with a group picture. I hope it's not just all aesthetics from here on out. Okay, yes, we do. Oh, and it's a really cute one, too. Hendren's got a little mischievous smile there. Reminds me of Jenny Ritt. Very, very cute. Stray kids everywhere all around the world. You make stray kids stay. And then, of course, the place to put your contact information if you're actually using this as a diary. Yeah, not my favorite diary inclusion from a season's greetings, but that is because I use them more as photo books. And that one is definitely designed more for practical use. Um, but again, the pictures are so, so gorgeous. I just wish there were more of them and that they were a little bit bigger. Now let's take a look at the extra things you get with the season's greetings. So I'm going to start with the postcard set. I feel like the plastic holding those in was weirdly tight. It was kind of hard to get them out. Um, I'm glad they included these since you don't get that many pictures in the diary. It's just another opportunity for them to give you more pictures. We start off with Chan. I wonder if these will be in age order, or if they'll go by the units. Lino, again, everyone looks so, so pretty in this photo shoot. So we are doing age order, because next we have Changbin. The material of these feel really nice as well. And I like that they alternate um, the colors on the backs, that's very pretty. Oh, this is such a pretty picture of Hyunjin. I say about literally every picture of Hyunjin ever. <laughs> but it's true! A Jisung. Adorable, as always. And then Felix. Sungmin. Yeah, his outfit is so weird, but again, I kind of love it because it's so weird. And Jongin. Yeah, those are really nice. And then, I'm not really sure what this is. It has a QR code on it, and I'm hiding it just in case it's like something unique that can only be used once. Um, but it's a little ticket, and it says, you are invited, stray kids, and stay. And normally I would just think this is a, like, just a paper inclusion, but because it has a QR code, I'm wondering if you use it to access, like, maybe a behind-the-scenes video or something. I'm not sure. Um, oh, it does have some text on the back, so, yeah, I will have to look into that and see what that says. So that's something about a URL, so maybe you do use the QR code to access something. I am not sure, but I do know the picture is very, very cute. And then we've got, I'm assuming this is acrylic? It's a standee, but it's really nicely made. Like, it's very thick and sturdy feeling. I, this is very pretty. I'm gonna have to find a place to display this. And I think it's actually supposed to be a mini calendar as well, because you can see we've got this space right here, and this was in the package with it. And it has like a little sticky part at the back where I guess you can stick it there and show the calendar. Which is a super cute, unique idea that I've never seen before, and I think it's very, very fun. I always just love these kind of inclusions anyway with the season's greetings. I have quite a few from Monsta X over the years and I just, I love how sturdy and like nice feeling this is. Like it doesn't feel cheap at all and I really do appreciate that. 
And then finally, last but not least, we have our transparent photo card set. I'm not sure if it was stated that it would be a transparent photo card set in the specs. It may have been, and I just didn't remember that. Um, I do personally wish we had some selfie cards because, again, I love this photo shoot. I would love to see some selfies of the members in these outfits, but these are still a fun inclusion and I'm happy to have them. And I like that they did them with the, like, detail on the back so you don't have to have something behind it to see the image. These are my preferred kind of transparent cards. So we start off with Chan. Again, I do wish these were close-ups instead of full-body pictures, but I think it's fun that they have different doodles and stuff on the side, like their signature, and I'm guessing they're all going to write Stray Kids there. That is really fun. And because they are transparent, I'm just going to show them one at a time. So next up we have Lino. Chung Bin. Again, his signature is my favorite. It's so cute. Hyunjin looking so, so pretty. Again, as literally always. Yeah, I love the handwriting. I love anything with the member's handwriting. I think that's just so fun. Jisung. Felix. Like, honestly, in terms of transparent cards, these are really cool. I love his handwriting. I think Felix's handwriting is my favorite. It's so cute. Sungmin. I feel like if we got these in addition to a set of selfie cards, I would actually really, really like them. It's just because we're getting them instead of selfie cards that I'm a little bit disappointed. We have Jillian. I mean, disappointed isn't quite the right word. They're still very, very cool. They're just different. I do personally wish we got a few more pictures of the members, just because I like this photo shoot so, so, so much. But overall, all of the inclusions are very nice, and I am super happy to have this in my collection, and would love to see Stray Kids do more photo shoots like this in the future. That is it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see more K-pop hauls or unboxings like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.